Good morning partners, Brandish Nail here and welcome to my morning rant to work. Too motherfucking cold to be out in this cold ass shit car edition. So uh, today I was uh, doing some looking on uh, Facebook and I was looking at Dapperton's channel and he had a uh, video today that he posted. It was how to win, um, how, how to always win an argument against the leftist. I think that's what it was called. Anyway, uh, I was looking at the comments, and you know what? I've, I've uh, become, I've, I've come to realize that the left side definitely, definitely has a bad image these days. Um, one commenter was saying that uh, the, the there's only three types of people in the left. Um, one was like college professors who think they know better. You know, there, there's a few different examples there. But I didn't fit any of that category, uh, any of those categories at all. And all my life, I've been, uh, I, I've really considered myself to be on the left side. Um, and it made me start thinking about what I want to do for my morning rant to work this morning. So uh, today, I'm going to tell you just a little bit about my history, who I am, and it might help you understand why I feel the way I do feel about some things. Uh, first of all, I grew up in a small town in southern Illinois, tiny, tiny town, Podunk, out in the middle of nowhere. Actually, it was about 10 miles past the middle of nowhere. And uh, while it was a decent environment, there wasn't much information for me to, uh, to have about the world around me at that time. Didn't have the internet, didn't have cell phone technology, didn't have anything that we have today. So, you know, I grew up in this little bubble of uh, a world. Now, I will always be proud of my country heritage because, I mean, look at me, I'm very, very country at heart. Um, I like the city life, I like the country life, I like a little bit of each. I have uh, done and been many things in my life. I am an atheist, I am polyamorous. Uh, a lot of people have asked exactly what that means, and what it is, is I have more than one lover. Um, I do have one person that I am committed to for the rest of my life, and he will be with me for the rest of my life. But at the same time, we also engage with other people, and our relationship is open. If someone wants to join with us, wants to move in with us, we're open to that concept. We believe in uh, open expression of love, sexuality, and that kind of freedom. So that right there most definitely does not fit in the right side. And that's why I feel that, you know, I do lean a lot very left. Um, I definitely don't agree with the religious side of things. But anyway, um, other things that I've done in my life, I, w one of my honors and privileges, I got to spend about three years traveling with Ringling Brothers Barnum & Bailey Circus. Uh, worked on the Elfin crew there. Uh, Really, I didn't do anything uh, special. I was a glorified pooper scooper. I carried a really big shovel and a wheelbarrow. That was pretty much my job. That and we'd bathe, feed them, entertain them, that kind of stuff. But that gave me a really good experience to be able to travel all across this great country. Um, I've had great experiences with them. I got to see about every major city in this nation. So that was wonderful, uh, getting to see all of that. I've also been a rancher in southern Missouri. That's basically what you see now. Back then, I didn't have the dreads, though, but the hat, the duster, you know, and everything like that. A lot of people have thought that Brandish Nail is a character that I put on. It's not. This is me. You know, this is my day-to-day -day look. Uh, during the winter, I've got my hat and my duster on. During the summer, I'm all hippied out with my dreads and comfortable. I love the summertime. Um, this year hasn't really been a very good year for me. Now, believe it or not, now I actually work at a call center doing tech support for cell phones. Yippee. Never thought I'd be doing that in my life, but this is only a temporary gig for me. Uh, but now, this year has just been a really shitty one. Um, there was, th th there was a girl that joined me and my boy's relationship. She moved in with us. And she caused a lot of drama. Ended up, she was a home wrecker who was wanting to take my boy and turn a gay man straight and monogamous. Yeah, fuck that shit. Hashtag fuck Abby. Anyway, 
if you're curious about what I am, I consider myself straightish because I don't really notice guys. I don't. There's only one man in my life who's ever turned my head in any way, and that's the man I'm with now. So I don't really consider myself gay or bi or anything like that. Plus, you know, fuck the goddamn labels and pronouns and all of these goddamn terms, LGBTQIZT, whatever the hell they want to put in there. I'm really not a part of all that. I am... I am most definitely not really a part of the gay community here in the Salt Lake area. I find the gay community to be fucking obnoxious at times. You know, not as individuals, but as whole. Um, it's just so pretentious, and people are like, just because I happen to be at a gay bar or something, that means that I want to suck everybody's fucking dick in that place. You know, I'm sick and tired of that. I don't do gay bars. I'm, for me, give me just a bar, a pool table, a dartboard, and a beer. Or whiskey, you know. That's, that's pretty much the me here. Anyway, that's a little bit about who I am and why I do really do consider myself the left. But at the same time, I am sick and tired of everything that the left has to say these days. There's, there's certain things that I agree with, so, but there's certain things with the right I agree with. So I kind of see myself as sitting right in the middle. Um, I don't know if I like the whole term alt-right or uh, a liberal conservative or a conservative liberal and all of that thing. All I say is, I'm brandish nail. This is who I am. You know, so if you like what I had to say today, uh, go ahead and hit me up with a like, share, and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment for me. Tell me what you think about this kind of shit. Hashtag fuck Abby once more. And, <laughs> and, um, I've been meaning to get some more of my gaming out there, but it's like I get home at the end of the night, by the time I get dinner cooked, run some errands, it's time for bed. So I'm going to try to get on tonight, hopefully I'll be able to hop in and say hello to some of my friends there. Oh, I had an experience last night I wanted to share with you guys. I got recognized. I was out doing some grocery shopping, <clears throat> and I was recognized by a fan. Uh, he saw me, he was like, Brandish Nails, hey you? And I was like, yes it is, that was pretty cool. You know, with less than a 400 fan base, uh, or 400 subscribers, and I already got a fan out there being noticed. That was pretty fucking awesome. It, it made my night. Anyway, folks, um, I'm just hanging out, getting ready to go to work here, so, uh, Hope you all have a really good day. I'm getting ready to get this day started for myself. So until next time, take care, partners. Be good to yourselves.